First up on tap on Thursday night, 7.30 p.m. on ESPN, we have Army, a 13.5 point favorite at Temple. This game carries an over-under of 45.5 points. Army is 4-0 coming into this game with conference wins over both Florida Atlantic and Rice. Not exactly the strongest opponents, of course, but their average uh, point margin of plus 20 is pretty darn good against them as well. And they're taking on Temple, who is comparable and by aggregate power ratings, actually worse than both of those teams. I'm not really accounting for much home field advantage here at Lincoln Financial Field. Temple last year filled uh, less than 20% of their capacity on average. Look, that's worse than the FBS. And they also host in Miami, which helps skew those numbers a little bit, get some more people in the stadium for that one. They just really don't fill it all that much. It's just simply too big of a venue for that program. And Army's not really coming from too far away. They're only two and a half hours away from Philadelphia. And then on offense, look, Army is back to back to old Army. Right, They're rushing on over 86% of offensive plays so far. This is just a great matchup for the Black Knights. They ran for over 400 yards on FAU, 288 yards on Rice and Temple. Well, they're 130th in rush EPA allowed so far in the season. Now, my question and the way that I'm dissecting this game and looking at this game is, what would the line be if Temple didn't score 45 points on a terrible, terrible Utah State defense last week uh, with backup quarterback Evan Simon counted for six touchdowns? I mean... You also look at it, the Owls were outgained in that game. You know, they they won by a couple of scores, but they were outgained by Utah State. This is not a good defense at all, and it, it's, a, it's a markedly worse rush defense than what Army's already dealt with. It's a less talented team. Army has less travel, and it's a less imposing venue. This is all Army to me. This this is one side. I'm, I'm making this line closer to 20 points with aggregated industry power ratings. <laughs> 